uh, welcome to the release video for Preside 1026. Here you can see it's relatively small release. There are four tickets, but really uh, it's three tickets with two of them closely related, and I'll take you through them now. So the first one is an alternative site tree page listing in the Preside admin. Uh, this one from Sasha. And what it gives you, uh, something we've been wanting to do for a, a while but never got round to, is gives you an alternative grid view on the site tree. So this is the Preside website. You can see the regular site tree, which is good and all, but sometimes a grid view for the pages that allows you to start filtering, um, you know, using your, your favorite filters. So you might want to um, say, I, I want a, a filter for all pages that haven't been updated in a year, so I can do a content refresh, that sort of thing. Um, yeah, that's it really. It's very much a, a data manager table works the same as all the rest but with site tree pages um, so yeah thanks to Sasha for that one the next one is a little piece in form builder so under forms this was a GDPR type request so we might have a form here we now have under general settings the ability to have a submission retention setting so we can enable removing of submissions we get this note here, data removed from submissions cannot be recovered. And we're going to say, we're going to, any submissions that are, are posted in here, we're going to remove after 30 days. And then it does exactly what it says on the tin. So then finally, um, we have the two related tickets, which are these email logging and statistics and uh, bot traffic in email and open and click tracking. Uh, so the, the history here is that we had some clients that send a lot of email and their email log tables became very, very large. Uh, so tens of gigabytes of email activity logs. And the the screen that shows, um, that we can show it here, that shows statistics for your email sends, uh, that screen plus other screens became very slow as a result. For example, we've got this um, sent 47 recipients here. We're obviously not hitting those numbers. Um, but this screen, like pulling out these templates and getting these counts became very slow. Um, just getting this number here, this count was slow. Uh, but then this this tab here that used to be called stats um, was really slow um, and, and would, would just not load for some of, some of the, the clients. So what we were doing was using SQL counts against raw log data to get all of the statistics out. Uh, and we tried various indexes to make that really fast, but what it comes down to is that you can never run a count query in SQL and have it perform well um, oh, when there are a lot of results, because it will always need to read from disk. Whether it's reading against an index or not, it still actually has to physically count records. So those queries can get extremely slow. So what we've done instead is to create additional summary tables that are updated in time buckets of an hour with totals of the different statistics. So for this email, there'll, there'll be a time bucket like in between 11 and 12 o'clock, and there'll be statistics for how many emails were sent, how many were delivered, how many were opened and clicked, in addition to the raw logs. So we could, we could wipe out these summary tables, but we could rebuild them based on the raw logs. Uh, and that's really it. So that was the performance side of things. And then transforming all these counts and all of any kind of part where we were reporting statistics on the email, we would use these summary tables and do a sum of the counts over the different time periods. And here you can see we could also divide it over time still. Um, so that was uh, really transformative for those clients with a lot of data. The, these pages now load totally fine, like really fast. Uh, in addition, I've kind of found that the usability of this screen was uh, less than good. So we've um, done a whole load of improvements to that. It's a little bit more focused on what marketing people would want to see. So we've got unique opens, click through rates, clicked when open rates, um, and things kind of sectioned off nicely. In addition, what you'll see is if people do unsubscribe or markers spam uh, and all of that, you'll see additional boxes in here linking through to the recipients that have done that. So you'll see a lot more data in here. And then finally on that, um, there is if you um, have, uh, if you enable a, a feature that's disabled by default, um, but when you get bot traffic, so certain types of 
email recipient groups might sit behind corporate firewalls and things like that. And what they'll do for all incoming email is scan all the links and these bots go out and crawl them all, which can be really problematic in multiple ways. It definitely throws your statistics off, especially your clicks. Um, so we've now got some uh, experimental code really, because it's a bit of an art form to detect those bots and they do their best to be undetected. So we'll detect those bots by various different things. We put a honey honeypot link in the emails and detect whether or not somebody's clicked in quotes, uh, clicked that link. And then that kind of increases the chance of that being, um, well, you know, traffic coming from there being uh, labeled as bot traffic and so on. Uh, and then we will remove those bot statistics from here. So you won't, they won't count as regular statistics, but we will report um, that, you know, we found some bot traffic. Um, and I'll, let me just find an example. So obviously we don't send enough email in uh, the preside mailing lists to get any bot traffic, but here's, here's some kind of faked, faked example of what that might look like. So we can see that we've got uh, 12, a click through rate of, you know, 12 recipients have clicked 81 times. But we can also see that we've detected automated bot activity in your statistics, removed them from the summaries, uh, and we can see that, yeah, uh, we detected three opens and, and 35 clicks. Uh, we can see our most active recipients as well. It's nice to see that. Um, and again, if we have unsubscribed, they also show up here. But I, I don't have an example, but you get the idea. Um, and that's really it. So that's Preside 1026. Uh, go out and upgrade. There aren't really any upgrade concerns. The transition to this is smooth. Um, so, yeah. Thanks for watching.